Hey everyone, so I was in the grocery store and I noticed something I hadn't seen before that I wanted to try and that is this ice cream flavor. Uh, it's from the brand Van Leeuwen and it is Earl Grey ice cream. Hmm. See, um, as some people will know, I really love tea. Uh, oolong is my favorite, but I love bubble tea, I love, you know, chai tea, matcha tea, a bunch of good stuff. In fact, uh, matcha ice cream is something I get fairly regularly. Um, there's a, a pretty cheap uh, Haagen-Dazs matcha ice cream you can buy, but you can't always find it. Usually my Target has it, but not always. Um, but you can get like a good like half gallon of green tea ice cream at some of the local Asian markets that are near me, and there's two big major like Asian supermarkets in my area. Uh, but they're pretty expensive because it's imported, so it's like $9 or half a gallon. I mean, I say that even though this tiny little pint was, uh, well, not even, what, this is 14 ounces? Uh, this was like 7 bucks, so still pretty expensive. But I thought, hey, I'll try it, you know. I like Earl Grey tea, uh, so does Captain Picard, though he prefers tea Earl Grey hot, not in ice cream form. And uh, this is what it looks like as far as, like, the color is concerned. I know my lighting here is a little weird. I got a, a little lamp over here, but otherwise I just have my my blue LED and my Halloween purple and orange Christmas lights here, but it doesn't really smell like anything. Let's see how it is. That tastes remarkably like Earl Grey tea. <laughs> like, to a shocking degree. Um. Yeah, this is really good. Um, I know Earl Grey tea isn't to everyone's liking. It's probably not one of the more popular. I'd say, like, green tea, matcha, your general black tea, white tea, even oolong or barley tea, probably more than this. Um, I wouldn't want to try chamomile tea as an ice cream, though. That's a little too herbal. <laughs> yeah, that is really good, though. If you like the taste of, of Earl Grey tea, this grabs it pretty spot on. What are the ingredients in here? Cream, milk, cane sugar, organic egg yolks, yep. And then, yeah, Earl Grey tea, so which is a mix of black tea leaves and bergamot oil, and then salt. So, yeah, it's pretty much just made of, like, the general ice cream flavors, and then they just throw actual Earl Grey tea in there. So, yeah, that, that tastes really good. <laughs> so, yeah, I'd say, you know, uh, I've heard... Well, I've seen some other people do taste tests, because sometimes they've had, like, kitschy ice cream flavors like macaroni and cheese, which I'd obviously never have because I fucking despise cheese. Um, but they, I think they had a champagne flavor once that I wanted to try, but I've never seen it anywhere. But I, I've just started seeing this brand in grocery stores. But normally it's just been, you know, your general. They have, like, honeycomb and cookies and cream and, and you know, chocolate vanilla. They didn't have anything too weird. This is, like, the quote-unquote weirdest flavor I've seen them have. Um, but yeah, since I like Earl Grey tea, this this tastes like it <laughs> to to a shocking shocking amount. I mean, I know it's an ingredient in there and everything, but a lot of times when you're trying to take the flavor of something specific and port it over to a different food or or dessert medium like ice cream, it doesn't always translate well. But this this translates well. This is like eating Earl Grey ice cream. So good job, Van Leeuwen. You you definitely captured that uh, that flavor. So yeah, again. If you like uh, the flavor of Earl Grey tea, and you like ice cream, this is a, a good mixture of both. If you don't like Earl Grey, you're not going to like this, because it does have a pretty... Not a super, super strong, but I'd still call it a strong flavor of it. it it's not mild or anything. It's, it's going to punch you in the face with some Earl Grey. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I really liked it. So, well, thanks for checking this out, everybody. See ya.